Hey everyone, we are asked to provide the electron configuration of iron in the standard notation and the noble gas notation. So I recommend that you take a minute now and try to solve this problem on your own before we go through the answer together. When finding the electron configuration of an atom, we are being asked where does that atom place its electrons, i.e. what shells and orbitals are its electrons most likely to be found in. So to solve this, the first thing that we need to do is look at our periodic table and see how many electrons an iron atom actually has in its ground or unexcited state. Looking this up, we can see that iron is number 26 on the periodic table, meaning that in a neutral state, no positive or negative charge, our iron atom will have 26 protons in its nucleus and thus 26 electrons surrounding that nucleus. Let's also remember that in the past video, we talked about this handy device for remembering which orbitals have the lowest energy, as those are going to be the orbitals that get filled first. So since we have 26 electrons to place, let's use this Bohr model of iron to help us keep track of all of our electrons. Recall that with the Bohr model, each of these rings around our iron center denotes an energy level on our energy level diagram. So each row here is associated with a ring on our Bohr model. The further we move away from the center, the higher energy level we are at. Now, let's work out our electron configuration of iron. As always, we'll begin with the 1s subshell. And as we discussed before, the 1s subshell can hold two electrons. So that leaves us with 24 electrons left. Following our energy level arrows, we have the 2s subshell next, which again can hold two electrons. Then we are going to move to the 2p orbitals, of which there are three, and these orbitals can all hold two electrons. In total, we can place six electrons within these three 2p orbitals. This leaves us with 18 electrons left to place. Following our energy level diagram, up next we have the 3s subshell, which again can hold two electrons, leaving us with 16 electrons. Then we have another p orbital, which can again take 6 electrons, followed by our 4s orbital, which can again take 2. Now we have our first d orbital, which can hold 10 electrons. We have 6 electrons left to place, so let's recall that we place one electron into their own orbital before pairing them up. Therefore, we will get an electron configuration that looks like this. We can now write out the standard notation like so. This is essentially just a more concise way of writing our above electron energy diagram. To write the noble gas notation, we simply look at the noble gas that has a lower atomic number than iron. So this is going to be argon. In the noble gas notation, we simply shorten this section as argon's ground state electron configuration, and then we write the remaining electrons like so. We've now solved for the ground state electron configuration of iron in the standard and noble gas notations. I hope that this video helped your understanding of how to find iron's electron configuration. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best.